Hey there everyone, Filcho here and welcome to today's video. As you all know, the 1.6 update added a lot of new content and Robin wasn't spared from the update as well. Today I'll be covering everything new that was added at Robin shop for our farm and also we will be discussing all of the new cabin variants that you can build from her as well. So let's get to Robin's place and check out what we can work with. There's a lot of new stuff added concerning the decorations and also upgrades for the farmhouse and also buildings for the farm. So first of all we're gonna go and explore the shop. In the shop now you can get the big chest recipe and also now you can buy all the braziers without having to buy one wait another day buy another wait another day. All of the braziers will be available from day one to buy from Robin's place. The next thing that you can get when you go and ask for house renovations. When you open this option, now you'll have a lot more things to choose from. There's also a dining room for 150,000 gold, cubby for 10,000 gold, attic for 60,000 gold and expand the corner room for 100,000 gold. This is something nice because now we'll have a really big addition to the house. So for now I'm gonna go for, let's go with the dining room. Let, oh, oh, I need to remove all of those. Okay, I'll go to the farm. That's gonna be done in a GP. One moment. So, make house renovations at the dining room. So, now we'll have a dining room for the house. Let's add the cubby. So, it's a nice expansion here. Let's also buy the corner room. Ooh, that's a nice place for your like bed and everything. And let's get the attic. Ooh, that's awesome though. I love it. Like we have our furniture catalog that we can use every time just to get like some new decorations. And you can see like we have a king chair now. We have maybe some new bountiful dining table, a new decoration. So you can see it like that. For example, we can also go with Dark Throne, Dining Chair, Stump Cute Chair, like there's so many stuff that you can use. I'm gonna go with the Dark Throne there for the this little area here. What about rugs? Now you can, like if you have a rug, it won't be picked up if you by accident like just press the rug. So if you have something above the rock, so that's something really good as well. Okay, there's interesting pictures that I can see as well, which is quite nice. It adds more to the game for real though. The dining room is quite nice, uh, a really nice thing that's an addition to the kitchen. When you go upwards, you'll see the attic. The attic is a small area here that you can probably make your man cave. I, I'll probably remove all of these and place them here for the trophies of the monsters that, that they've slayed and everything. The kids room will stay the kids room. This one will be like a little hallway. It's too bad that there are no decorations that you can use like to make a bathroom. Like this could be a bathroom or something like that. But this is probably the best area for a bedroom or something. I don't know, like that's a perfect thing for a bedroom. This bottom side here is the same as you can see this one as well and the cubby is the last one which you can use like a small crafting area maybe or something but there's a lot of possibilities to use this house with like the new rooms and you can have a lot more decorations now like i love it though what do you think though which of these rooms is the best addition for you though let me know down below for now We'll be going back to Robin's place to check the last item on the book and that is the construct farm buildings option. When you go here, we have the coop as standard, the gold icon is changed, barn standard, well standard, silo standard but now you have a clock here that says how long would it need to be built, cabin, but now you have cabin and this little button pet ball and slime hutch. The slime hutch is smaller now compared to the one before it's quite smaller as you can see here it takes up a smaller bit of space 
but it's also still purple so i would really like to change that but still at least we got some space back that we can use for something else for the other things we can see the pet ball the pet ball now if you have a, already a pet you can get one more but you also have a change your appearance you can have this kind of appearance this kind of an appearance so there's only three now but still it's quite better now with this and uh, provides a dedicated home for one pet and having more of these you can get more pets on the farm which is quite good the pet ball is prefabricated so there's no construction time yep yes it is so we're gonna go with the last option that i wanted to check and this is the one for multiplayer now there have been a few extra cabin styles added to the game which are really great there are this one which is quite nice this one, this one, and this one. Look at this. Look at this is one of the best, I think. Like, I love this one. So, I'll build all of the cabins and add them to my farm so we can check them out one by one. So, these are all of the farm cabin layouts that you can have on your farm. For multiplayer, these are all unique and amazing. And I think everyone would love to have one of these on their farm at least. Even though you don't play multiplayer, you can at least make it on the farm and use it as a shed of some kind or something else. You can at least build them on the farm and have them as a decoration since you won't be able to use them because when you go inside, a lot of the things here are not usable by you because they're not owned by you. They're owned by another player that would join the farm. I like this one the most because it has the most unique look out of them all. I feel like I'm gonna become Pam with this, the trailer park uh, cabin style. But this one really reminds me of the hat mouth. Like I think Concerned Ape woke up one morning and said like you pitied the, the hat mouse about his house, now you can have his house as well. So look at this, like the roof is leaking. How can you live here? Like come on. This one reminds me of something of a jungle or it feels like this cabin belongs in a jungle area or something because it's quite interesting and unique or a, like a swamp or something like that. And this one is the most city cell. I think P uh, Concerned Ape took a part of Pierre's house and added it to the farm. As you can see, like it's the same roof, it's the same building style and everything. So that's it. These are all of the four cabin styles that we have now added to the 1.6 update. Which of these is your most favorite one? For me, it's this one, the trailer park. But everyone should have their own, so let me know down below which one of these four suits your needs the most. Let me know down below. But everyone, that's all I have for you today. That's everything new which was added to Robin Shop in the 1.6 update. I quite love the things we can build now and the upgrade to the house is amazing giving us more room to decorate and improve. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to leave a like, and to keep up with my latest content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get notified of my future videos. I hope you all have a great day and I will see you all in my next one. But till then, stay safe.